Well, the, the disadvantage of our old building, it was basically a house that had been converted to a police department. So when you walked in, it was a house. And even though it was converted into an office space, a proverbial police department, um, it, just, it just wasn't that professional feel to it. Um, the space was very limited. It was just less than 900 square feet. So when we go to you know 3,100 square feet plus a three-car garage, we we now have a police department and and office space and space in general. So one of the biggest disadvantages they had before simply the size of it. It was restricted what they could do. They had several different departments in basically one little room and so to me that was the biggest disadvantage that they had and challenge that they had that um, brought about the idea of this you know we're basically on the same size lot that we were before uh, just a much bigger building you know two and a half three times the size of that so to me the size restrictions were probably the the, the biggest challenge for them uh, on the old building it's when somebody now comes into this building you sit here and you go this is our beautiful building to where they would walk into that house and and you're kind of going boy you know and people would come in and go this is a police department and you know here we are you know here we are so it to me once the community saw what the the future project was going to be and obviously everybody thinks about monetary value they think of costs and matt moyer the town board president gave a vision of, hey, we can keep this under this dollar amount. And when it was presented to the town, people bought in. And during open house, you know, we had 75 people walk through here and every word was, this is beautiful, this is beautiful. So people are very, very interested in it. And, and there is not, I have not heard one single bit of negativity about this building being the way it is. Everything is positive, everything is just, it looks, it was done right, it was done with class, it fits the area. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's a police department, it's a building, but yet this is mostly residential area in here. And they, most people say that it, you know, the project really fits in well with the neighborhood. Early on, we worked alongside the department as well as architects to kind of put a design together that they, you know, getting feedback from them on the different requirements or needs that they had, uh, kind of a wish list of different areas of, of the building that they wanted. And then we worked along with our with our project team, the architect and stuff like that, to come up with some, initially some floor plans, uh, conceptual floor plans that, that presented that to them and through a, a course of several different revisions got to the design and the plan that they wanted. So it's kind of working hand in hand with, with them, with the architects and us uh, to kind of collaborate and make it all all come together and work. Um, so we have my office, the detective sergeant's office, the lieutenant's office, and then the patrol division, which houses two patrolmen and then the reserves. Even though it's all one space, it's cubicled. So they each have their own workstation. And then obviously this cool room, I love this room in here. Uh, this is our training conference room. Um, with the patrol office, we also have a little kitchenette area little break room table right there all in that one space and you know you don't ever feel you don't feel enclosed and trapped in here the most gratifying or satisfying thing is you know right at the very end when you when we have a, a ribbon cutting ceremony and as i was telling marshall hershberger is that you know we have just a year invested into this but a lot of them have 20 30 years into this and they started work on this project six seven years ago so to finally see that come to fruition for them, I mean, to me, that's really satisfying the excitement they had and, and um, finally have a facility where they can carry out their responsibilities much more efficiently and, and um, professionally as well. Had other people, other agencies come into this and the first question they ask is, you know, who built it? And it's, you know, we're very proud to be able to say that Ariola in Napanee, Indiana is the one who built this building.